Hey guys, welcome to Nivi's Junction and I'm Niveta. Thank you for clicking into this video. And today we are going to see another video in Accenture series. Yes, you would have already known what we are going to talk about. We are going to talk about dress code in Accenture, what to wear and what not to wear for both men and women. And I've already uploaded many videos with regard to Accenture in my channel on these topics. If you want to watch any of these videos, I'll link the Accenture playlist over here. You can go and check them out. Also, if you don't want to miss any further content from my channel, make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon. Also, do follow me on Instagram at Nivi's Junction to see more workday in my life and mini vlogs kind of. Also, if you like this video, don't forget to give this video a big short thumbs up. If you have any topics that you want me to talk about with regard to Accenture, feel free to comment below. So yeah, and now without any further ado, let's get into the video. So first things first, what is dress code in general? So dress code is nothing but it is like a set of rules or policies given by the company to you about like what to wear and what not to wear in their workplace. So not only Accenture, all other IT companies do have dress code policies. Not like schools and colleges, they won't be providing you uniform or they won't be telling you some color or pattern or dress pattern to maintain and all. That is not the case here. But the company will give you a boundary, a certain limit or standard which you have to meet meet while dressing up to the office. So that is what dress code is. So now coming to Accenture, as far as I experienced, I would say it's not that strict in Accenture. Like dress code is not that strict here, but they have provided us rules and PDF which covers dress code policies. And as like all other IT sectors, only Fridays are for casuals and other days are for formals here also. So in this video, I'm going to explain you all about the dress code policies mentioned in the PDF. Of course, you'll be getting the PDF in your first year or second day, but it would be better for you if you know all these rules beforehand so that you will prepare accordingly. Yes. So, yeah. So let's get into the dress code rules, the rules which I'm mentioning now, right? So those are applicable whether you're going to visit Accenture base location office or onshore office, offshore office, or if you're going to visit Accenture client location or conference or anything. If you are going to visit Accenture office as an employee, these dress code rules are applicable. So keep that in mind and let's get started. So the entire dress code rules are segregated into five segments like these five segments. We'll see one by one. So the first segment is shirts and tops. Under this segment, they have given what are appropriate dressing and what are not appropriate dressing. We start with professional business attire, which is appropriate clothing. Okay. Short sleeve and long sleeves are accepted in Accenture and shirt with collars are accepted. Blazers are accepted. Jackets are accepted and cardigan sweaters and sweaters over a shirt is also accepted. And modest necklines are appreciated. And polo style and collar t-shirts are only applicable on Fridays and weekends and any public holidays. If you are working, you can come on uh, polo style t-shirts. Generally, t-shirts are only applicable on Fridays. So yeah, so this is what are appropriate dressing under shirts and tops. Now let's see what are two casual dressing under shirts and tops. Okay. First thing mentioned is off the shoulder type. I'll paste a picture over here for your reference. So this is not appropriate and this is not accepted in Accenture. And then loose hanging shirts and tops and then low cut or very fitted and tight shirts and tops and then bare shoulders. I'll paste a picture and then sheer tops, crop tops and tube tops are not at all accepted in Accenture. These are some of the specifications they have given for shirts and tops segment. And as I already said, they won't specify you with colors, with patterns. They won't specify those things. They'll give high level rules. Okay. Under that, you can wear whatever you want so yeah that's the case here so now let's get into the segment number two trousers and pants which is bottoms first formal trousers and pants are accepted these are for boys the formal pants and tailored pants are accepted not the jean and then turned jean and then the ankle fit thing those are not at all accepted like i've seen few boys recently in our campus like uh, when i'm entering into the office employees who will be there right to check our bag and then to check our id card and all they're talking to the three boys okay they 
uh, they are wearing the ankle length kind of pant and then another guy is wearing some weirdest patterned pants you know it's a jean but the patterns are like it was in bright colors and then very funky so that's not at all accepted even on fridays those kind of bright colored and you know weird patterns are not accepted in accenture so yeah i've noticed that boys keep this in mind next cotton formal trousers and pants are accepted and khaki style trouser and pants are accepted only on fridays and weekends if you are working or public holidays if you are working it's only accepted on those days and then denim is accepted for bottoms any color is okay should be neatly ironed without fraying edges or tears like as i already said and then designs or embroidery like without these if you're wearing a plain denim in any color it is accepted and it must not be low hung the og style right the low hip and all it's not accepted in workplace and here comes the important thing denim is only allowed on fridays but in our workplace they are wearing frequently even i am wearing denim frequently as far as it meet these concerns like the denim should be in one color and then it should not have any bright patterns in bright colors and any low hip and then some funky things and all if your denim jeans don't have these kind of aspects you can wear whenever you want it's not like only fridays you can wear but you can wear denim whenever you want so yeah so now let's see what and all are not accepted under trousers and pants section first leather and vinyl pants like leather pants are not accepted here actual slacks tight pants and shorts is not at all accepted in workplace so yeah like these are some of the basic things though but yeah it is mentioned here like i'm mentioning all the rules which is mentioned here in pdf so don't get me wrong so now let's move on to the next segment dresses and skirts these are specifically for girls so yeah first i'll read out what and all are accepted tailor dresses are accepted including sleeveless hemlines at knee or below knee length and two piece dresses are accepted skirts are accepted which have hemlines at knee or below knee length so generally it should be like below knee length or it should have some hemlines at the knee level so those kind of skirts and dresses are totally accepted when it comes to not appropriate we have long baggy dresses and leather dresses inappropriate short hemlines and tight dresses and skirts are not appreciated so yeah and next segment is kurta segment so kurta with chudidars or salwars or western style trousers and pants are totally accepted what is not accepted is dhoti kurta with pyjamas veshti lungi is not accepted in working days i know you people won't be wearing veshti on a normal work day i know that but it is on the rules i have to read them when it comes to ethnic day or any celebration or if you have any celebration in your project team, if they are asking you to come in ethnic wear you can come in dhotis sarees and salwars and all that's not an issue even i worn saree once for pongal celebration in our office also i worn some heavy worked anarkali for our project team like for the ethnic day women's day celebration I even vlogged the day i've uploaded a video on my channel like work day in my life you can go and check that out i'll link the video over here so when it comes to celebrations and any uh, specific occasion you can wear dhotis and all it's not an issue so now let's get into the last segment footwear so what are accepted are formal leather shoes pumps sandals sling back shoes sling back shoes uh, i think the strap kind of yeah i'll paste a picture over here and uh, casual shoes loafers but loafers are accepted only on fridays weekends and public holidays what are the footwear is not appropriate in accenture is flip flops clogs or any beach style shoes the casual kind of shoes are not at all accepted yeah that is it with all the rules mentioned in the pdf so this is the basic high level rules they give you under which you can wear whatever you want and uh, i would say it's not that strict in accenture they won't be checking you every day and asking you like why you're wearing this go change and come those kind of scenes have never happened in our office as far as i've been in accenture i'm going to office for like the past 8 to 9 months i guess so as far as i've seen all the employees in our campus dress decently and neatly you know so once you get into the office you know once you get to visit the workplace and work there you will know like how to dress and how to dress for different occasions and all 
and how to behave and everything you will know and you will change accordingly you know even if you are a funky person if you like bright colors and weird patterns also if you go inside the campus the vibe itself will change you okay so it's not a big issue or it's not a big thing when it comes to accenture specifically accenture dress code is not a big burden here so don't overthink and over pressurize yourself okay we'll have a chill dress code in accenture and these are some of the high level rules which you have to keep in mind so yeah i thought of sharing you guys with this information i hope this video was useful if it does make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon also do follow me on instagram at nivis junction to see more of what i wore in a week and office fit inspos and my mini work day vlogs if you have any other topic in your mind which you want me to talk with regard to accenture feel free to leave a comment and i'll meet you with an another useful content until then all the best for your career bye